Hello and welcome to another episode of Nothing Definitive. I'm Sam Carlson and today I want to talk about meditation and the secrets it reveals about life and yourself. All right. Well, this seems fitting. I have the logo of someone meditating with a question mark on their head or forehead. Um, that actually does. I didn't really plan that or think about it, but that logo really captures what meditation is all about. When you meditate, your brain turns into a gigantic question mark because it begins to ask itself very deep and important questions. And that's really the usefulness be behind meditation. I mean, besides besides just calming yourself down and and I guess maybe like learning how to uh, focus your mind and maybe have build willpower by controlling it. The real big thing is it's like a great opportunity to just say, hey dude, slow down. Let's actually not even slow down. Let's just stop right now and think about who I am. Think about what's bothering me. Uh, what are people doing around me? Um, how do their actions affect me? How, how do they treat me? How do I treat them? Um, one of the great things I or one of the things I've heard about um, ayahuasca, which is like a, a a drug that people take in like South America or Central America, um, that's got DMT in it. It's supposed to give you this like super crazy powerful um, psychedelic trip or something like that. One of the things they said or one of the effects that it has on you, I think it was ayahuasca. I'm pretty sure it was ayahuasca. One of the things they said it does to you is um, allows you to see how you've been treating other people. And a lot of times it makes people like break down and cry and like feel terrible or something because they, they've they never taken the opportunity. Like through meditation, you could have mitigated that, that breakdown maybe by by realizing how you treat other people. And and people maybe who don't do that or maybe maybe even meditation doesn't help maybe it's just that powerful um, uh, but you know it allows you to see like how do I treat other people and apparently it puts you in the shoes of the other person and makes you feel like it like shows you acting terribly to them and then like it makes you feel how that person probably felt like how terrible they probably felt because you told you basically like shat on their face um, meditation can like you know, do things like that for you. It can it can allow you to like reflect on your actions and say, you know what? I was kind of a dick today. I was I was really mean to one of my good friends for like no reason. I I wasn't even having a bad day. Why was I such a dick to him? And and you might you might really realize that and go, wow. I need to shape up. I need to be nicer. Like we're all stuck on this planet together. None of us know what the fuck's going on. None of us have purposes that we're even aware of. This is like tough. We should be really nice to each other. Have a good time. Learn together. Not treat each other like assholes. Um, so meditation is great in that respect. It allows you to just, just think about things. You know, slow everything down. Get all the distractions out of your life. And, and ask those really tough questions. Um, it also, like, just, just the fact of, like, sitting down and meditating, like, you can really calm down and bring yourself into this really nice, happy, uh, warm feeling where it's just like, you know, like when I do it, I think I, 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 um, at the beginning I talk to myself, I say like, okay, I'm calming down. Um, I'm calming my mind. I'm clearing my thoughts. I, am with every breath, every exhale, I'm like becoming less stressed, less anxious, less nervous. Um, all the negative feelings that are inside me are evaporating out, of, you know, out of me or whatever. Um, that's kind of what I do. I, I kind of chant, not chant, but to have this mantra that I do. And it really helps. Like when I, a lot of times I'll, I'll be sitting there during the day and it'll be like a long day or something. And I'll be like, Oh my God, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm feeling touchy or aggravated. Uh, that's like a red flag for me. I go, you know what? I feel negative right now. I'm going to meditate and I do it. I do it for like even 15 minutes. That's, you know, that's not that long. 15 minutes. What is that? Even for 15 minutes, when I come out of the meditation, I feel so much better. I feel at peace. That's such a rare feeling. I feel like a lot of people never don't get a chance to just feel at peace. That's, 
something kind of different. That's not just being happy. Being at peace, like serene, is kind of an interesting feeling. Like, someone could punch me in the face, and I'd just be like, you know, friend, that's not nice, but I forgive you, because I just meditated, and I feel so good, I just don't even care. That might be a bit unrealistic, but, you know, that's that serene feeling is really very, very nice to feel. Uh, yeah, so that's great. Um, another awesome thing that meditation does for you, and this is, this is perhaps the most profound, it may not seem like it until you realize it, but meditation allows you to notice subtleties, and that is really powerful, especially if you're not on the path to enlightenment. If you're not currently, like, on the path to enlightenment and like having lots of realizations about life and stuff, meditation might unlock something for you. And if it does, consider yourself very lucky because I think it's really rare. If you can, if you can um, get to this point where you start to notice subtleties, it can like snowball into this massive, profound realization about humanity and social interactions and stuff. But on an individual level, let's just focus on that for now. Noticing subtleties will allow you to realize how much negative emotion impacts you as a person. I never realized it until I started meditating. And it was this, like, I would notice, I, would be, I be, began to notice, and now I really am aware of it, when I'm around someone who's acting even slightly negative, I can like almost feel it emanating off of them. And it's like, there's something in neuroscience they call mirror neurons. And like when you see someone jump or you see someone laughing or crying or something, neurons in your brain will switch on and allow you to feel like empathetic or feel the emotions or whatever that that person's feeling. So you like see someone, you know, like if you go to, you watch a YouTube video and you see someone crying because someone just died in their life or something and you just, you watch and you're like, oh my God, I feel bad. Like I, I like want to cry for them or something. That's your like mirror neurons mirroring their behavior. It allows you to like feel empathetic. So anyway, these mirror neurons is like this I'm not a neuroscientist, so I'm not going to say like this is fact or anything, but this is what I think. I think what's happening is that when you're around people who are just even slightly negative, um, your those neurons are flipping on and they're kind of replicating that negativity. That person's annoyed. I'm going to like just get a little bit annoyed. It's very subtle. I would say most people are probably completely unaware of it. And meditation allows you to start to become really aware of how that affects you just that little bit those little subtle things they start to add up during the day and that's why like you see people like they get home from work and then their kid spills orange juice on the carpet and they just flip out and they're like you know freaking out and they're yelling and stuff that's because probably because they're i mean they're exhausted and they're worn out but also because like they've probably been dealing with a lot of shit they've probably been at work at a job they don't like around people that don't like their own jobs and it's just this pool of negativity that's just, they're absorbing it like a sponge. All those neurons are flipping on and they're just becoming so hateful or so just close to the edge, you know? We, we work so hard to like balance ourselves or like fight against that, um, like that negativity. But that's kind of stupid. We should just be in an environment where there's not so much negativity. We should be more comfortable with one another going, saying like, hey dude, relax. You're being really negative right now. Like, knock it off because it doesn't just affect you just because you're annoyed and you think well you know fuck you i'm i'm annoyed buzz off like i can be annoyed if i want no you are around us in a situation where i can't get away from you because we're at work together stop being negative because it does not just affect you it affects everyone um and that's where people talk about like you know spreading positivity is like a really good it's actually a really good idea this whole like thing with like trolls on the internet and stuff like it's funny you know everybody like peop there's there is an immediate like reward system with that you feel superior you feel like ha I pissed that person off like for some reason that makes me feel good first of all that should be a red flag like what the fuck is wrong with me that I pissed that person off and they're they're now very negative that makes me feel good that's not a good thing I think we've just become very accustomed to it um, but anyway 
that's why like I think trolling and stuff like that where people spread negativity through terrible comments on the internet that's actually really bad that's why like if you're really into positivity stop reading those comments or get involved in really niche communities where like everyone knows each other and they wouldn't dare say terrible things because they actually know each other in real life um, the anonymity of the internet is like kind of terrible in that respect but um, spread positivity I think it's more powerful than you really realize and through meditation you can start to really understand and grasp that concept so that's what I wanted to talk about today I highly suggest you try meditating try not only meditating in the sense where you sit and calm your mind and clear your thoughts but also in the in just thinking about life all the time really get into um, a habit of deep thinking asking tough questions I know it can be kind of exhausting it can drain on you a bit but that that's part of it like self growth or personal growth enlightenment and stuff is not supposed to be easy it's like a struggle it's like something you kind of suffer through but through it you become like this greater and greater more powerful more intelligent more compassionate person like the power is unlimited really I don't even think like anyone on this planet in all of history has even come close to becoming like truly enlightened. We've made like great leaps and strides, but we got a long ways to go. So consider it. It'll change your life, I promise you. Thanks for listening and see you next time.